214 MPs voting against the motion, while 148 voted in favor. But this is probably going to be the story of the day and probably of the weekend. ANC MPs in Korsazanat, Lamini Zuba, Mosabenzi Zwane, Supra Mahamopelo, and Mervyn Dirks voting against the motion. Now let's get a reaction now from political analyst who's very busy at the moment. Always good to have uh, Professor Sipo uh, Siepe joining us. Was with us yesterday uh, previewing what we were going to see coming out of uh, Parliament yesterday afternoon. The good prof back with us. Morning, prof. So uh, in your wildest dreams, did you expect to see such high-ranking A and C members standing up in an open vote and saying what they did. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, I did. I did expect uh, Dr. Angosana Zuma to take the position that she has taken because she has been very outspoken on the matter. But she has not been the only one. Supra Mahmoud has also indicated as much. But most importantly, was also statements that were made by people like uh, Dr. Zulim Chase about how the matter was handled by the NEC in the last meeting. He was of the view and expressed himself so that the, the decision to not to support the report was bulldozed through the NEC. Because at the time when the chairperson closed the meeting, there were many other hands that uh, were uh, expected to speak. And most of those were people who were uh, holding a different view. And he was of the view that uh, once uh, the chairperson had selected people that he knew were going to be in support of President Ramaphosa on this matter, uh, he closed the meeting. So he felt that uh, this is not how the ANC works. He even went to an extent that uh, this uh, mafia-style approach that is unheard of in the ANC. But what is important is that uh, ultimately the process went as expected, but the outcomes themselves were predictable. They mm. were expected. The ANC always rallies around its leaders. And there are two issues that it they often puts across that uh, when it is fed up with its own leader, it will make that determination. It will not allow that determination to be made by other people. But of course, there are issues of constitutionalism. There are issues that have to do with uh, what do members of the, and what do members of parliament do and what, who they, do they represent? Do they represent the people of this country? What is expected of them after taking oath? And the constitutional court had expressed itself on this matter, that when members assume that position, they put the country first, not the party interest. Yeah. Yes, of course, uh, the party will have its views, but uh, you cannot undermine the notion that you, you took uh, a, an oath of office and you have told the people of this country that you are going to serve uh, their interest and the interest of the republic. Talk to me about those uh, high-ranking MPs who were not in Parliament yesterday and what that's going to mean for them and also those who voted uh, yesterday, those uh, four MPs. What is it going to mean for those who weren't there and those uh, who didn't tow the party line going into conference this weekend? The clock is ticking. Uh, what, is it, what does it mean when we hear people say that their fate is sealed? What do you mean? What do you make of that? Well, I don't think uh, the fate is sealed, even that of uh, those who voted uh, uh, in support of uh, the report. Uh, one must understand that uh, we are two days away from the conference, and uh, any action by the outgoing uh, NEC would be seen as uh, vindictive. And the, the branches are ready, and they have been watching. And when they meet, they, they are going to probably uh, reflect on this, and also remember that the, the ANC has almost uh, lost uh, confidence within the people of this country. And they have a responsibility to say, are we going to reclaim that and restore that confidence that we have lost? Uh, because uh, what is very clear about uh, the process, the process is not saying the president is guilty. It says the president will be afforded an opportunity to prove through the process that is as innocent as he claims. And so all they are saying is that the, the members of parliament have a responsibility to hold uh, the executive account. That is the over, o, oversight responsibility. Mm. And in this case, there is a sense generally that the ANC has, uh, uh, in parliament has actually failed. But one must also go back to the issue of an instruction that was given. Because when you have a, a debate, 
there's an expectation that you, the space is about influencing each other, about listening. And the issue of rationality can come in, whether the ANC majority acted in a manner that is consistent with the, the rationality test, that whether they'll pass that test. And the EFF has already pointed out that uh, this matter will be taken on review or they'll take uh, Parliament to court. Prof, let me ask you this very briefly. I, I need to say goodbye to you in a moment. But speaking of debates, uh, I see the Press Club South Africa. I see a, uh, a, promo a poster of yourself here, uh, Professor Sipo Siepe and uh, Lindiwe Susulu, ANC NEC member, going to be happening today, the Wednesday, the 14th of December at 1 o'clock. I imagine that is happening. So you are the host. Lindiwe Susulu is the guest. She wasn't there yesterday. What are you going to be talking about? I imagine that's going to be one of your first questions or some way in there, isn't it? Well, it definitely will feature in our discussion. I mean, the uh, issues uh, like this are very topical, and it's always important to provide uh, uh, the politicians who I interview with an opportunity to explain themselves. The issue is not about interrogation. It's to say, given these developments and given your conduct, how do you explain this? But I'm also uh, informed that uh, she and uh, Dr. Mkise have uh, intimated that they might have a press conference where they will also ventilate uh, their stance. But it mm. will be very interesting. And mm. I think the developments themselves are very interesting. It's going to be as well, and hopefully you'll afford us the option uh, to talk to you. I'm not sure if maybe tomorrow or later in the week again as we get ready for elective conference, you can tell us what Lindiwe Susulu had to say to you. Professor uh, Sipo Siepe uh, joining us this morning, just giving reaction to what happened uh, in Parliament yesterday. I did mention it's the Press Club of South Africa, uh, the good prof sitting down with Lindiwe Susulu. Uh, today, 1 p.m., if you do want details, uh, I'm sure you all know by now who uh, the Press Club of South Africa is. You can just go look for them uh, on their socials, on YouTube, on on their website and get details. But I see that interview with uh, Professor Siepe and Lindiwe Susulu, one o'clock today, right?